So in 1945, this guy called Karl Popper wrote a book called The Open Society and Its Enemies. And the most famous quote extracted from that is something called The Paradox of Intolerance, which paraphrased is more or less something like, a tolerant society must be intolerant towards intolerant people, else it becomes an intolerant society itself. The paradox being that a tolerant society must be intolerant to survive. And this is all very neat, it's logical, it's grammatically correct, but unfortunately, it's completely wrong. And it's wrong for two reasons. The first one is that tolerance is never an aspiration of society in the first place. Whoever said that the highest goal of society was to be tolerant? Society is not tolerant. We don't tolerate murder, we don't tolerate bank robbing, we don't tolerate violence, we don't tolerate racism, etc., etc. No one ever said that society must be tolerant, so that's wrong in the first place. The second reason it's wrong is that Popper was basically using the wrong adjectives. He was talking about intolerance and tolerance, but actually he should have been talking about violence and non-violence. So if in his paradox you simply replace it with violence, non-violence, you get something like a non-violent society must be violent towards violent people, else it becomes a violent society, which makes sense, but it's not a paradox by any rational measure. Everyone agrees that self-defense is the most rational, reasonable form of violence there is. If somebody's attacking you or they're shooting up the village with a machine gun, you do whatever it takes to stop that person and to restrain them and stop them from doing it again. No one disagrees with that. There's no paradox. There's no conflict at all. Self-defense is perfectly rational. So Popper was using the wrong adjective. He should have been talking about violence and non-violence. All right.